One of the first books I remember ever reading in my childhood was the Percy Jackson series. I was that kid who was an extreme nerd. Um, I took like four years of Latin in junior high and high school, so the Percy Jackson universe was like a core part of who I was. So I was really, really happy when he just released The Chalice of the Gods because it was kind of a step back in time to my childhood. If you haven't read Percy Jackson, one, you should. He, Percy Jackson is like the best book boyfriend ever created. But two, The Chalice of the Gods is kind of a standalone. It does relate with all the characters and stuff, but it's not in such a way that like if you haven't read the rest of the series, you won't understand it. Basically, Percy, in order to go to college, has to have some recommendation letters from the gods, which requires doing brand new quests from different gods in order to get those recommendation letters and he has to get three of them. So this is him getting the first one and there's a scene just to like tell you how great this is. There's a scene right at the beginning when Percy's like, guys, I gotta go do all these quests. And they're like, hey, we'll help you. Like the gang's back together. And I think Annabeth is like, yeah, it's like the, you know, the Powerpuff Girls. I don't remember what Grover says, but guys, I died of laughter at this part. Cause he's like, yeah, it's like Shrek, Fiona and Donkey. And then there's silence at the table. And then they're like, actually, that's a fair description and I love that because that is them. So definitely check out Chalice of the Gods if you want like a light book that is also just Percy Jackson, you know?